I made this video because I wanted to make a motorized bicycle, but keeping the central crank set. This is to maintain the possibility to change the gears. To do this, surfing the internet a bit, I realized that I need what is generally called the freewheel crank set. Practically, a crank set where the pedals are not fixed to the crank, but are free to rotate. As it works for the rear sprocket. Since it is difficult to find a freewheel crank set, especially for the square pin versions, which are the vast majority of bicycles in circulation, I decided to make one by following the various tutorials on the internet. So I started from a standard crank set already available on a mountain bike that I already had. I extracted all the block. Then I cut the part that was not needed, the gear's pinions around the right pedal. As you can see, this is the result. Here at this point, I also recovered a freewheel sprocket from an old bike. So, our goal will be to fix the freewheel sprocket on the right pedal arm. To do this, first of all, we need to arrange the pedal attachment towards the pin, making it as cylindrical as possible. Therefore, it must be inserted the freewheel sprocket. Must be held well in position and then welded. To keep it in position, you can use washers. I have used several washers, reducing the diameter. To see how to do it, you can watch my video called, Customized Washers, available on my channel. I put another one both above and below so as to fix everything, centered and orthogonal to the pedal lever itself. Freewheel sprockets are generally yellow, it means they are nickel-plated. Since I used an electrode welding machine, I remind you the electrode, it's better to use stainless steel electrodes, have difficulty to attach to a nickel-plated surface. Therefore, before proceeding with welding, by the grinder I eliminated the nickel part leaving the metal uncovered, in order to facilitate the welding. Summarizing, after having welded the pinion the central part of the freewheel, we need to weld to the pedal arm including the gear parts. We reuse the gear parts which we previously cut. We weld them on the teeth of the pinion, as I can now show in the figure. I have omitted the welding phases, because you can imagine how it is done. This is the final result. As you can see, the central part is welded. I smoothed with a grinder, and then, it I painted black. Here, you can see how the assembly works. It runs quite well and arms are free to rotate. In the next stage, my idea is to place a front motor on the bicycle. When the motor is running, the pedals must not rotate together. They must be free for obvious reasons, and top of all, for safety. Here's the result. I haven't installed the motor yet, but I put another freewheel to indicate where the motor will be positioned. I will do it in the next weeks, then I will post the video with the engine installed too. If you like this video, you can give me a like, and if you want, you can subscribe to my channel. Thanks and see you next project.